In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Alpha 5 Documentation Viewer, which is an improved way of interacting with the Alpha 5 documentation when you're working in Alpha 5. The uh, Documentation Viewer is completely integrated into Alpha 5, so you don't need to open your browser and go to the wiki to read the documentation. It also allows for disconnected viewing, which means that you can interact with the documentation without having an internet connection because the documentation is stored locally on your computer. You can find topics very quickly both by filtering topics and by doing a full text search. Uh, the topics uh, that you view are displayed in tabs and uh, when you close and reopen the uh, documentation viewer, the list of open tabs can be saved and restored. You can also create your own list of tabs to save and restore, which is very useful. The uh, documentation viewer can be opened in two different window styles, either an MDI window, which is a multiple document interface window, or modeless. Uh, modeless is ideal if your computer has uh, two monitors because it allows you to keep the documentation open at all times on a second monitor. We also have real-time help in the code editors. That means that as soon as you start typing a function or method name, uh, Alpha 5 will synchronize the documentation on the uh, method or function that you just typed, giving you extensive help on the function or method that you are defining. You can print uh, topics uh, to PDF files and you can also print collections of topics into books so you can create books on related topics uh, in PDF format. The uh, documentation viewer gives you a browser-like experience in that there are back and next buttons to cycle through previously viewed uh, topics. You can annotate any topic by adding your own notes and these notes can be added to a shared database so that all of the developers on your team uh, can be viewing the same notes and you can add your own notes uh, to the documentation so if you have a particular technique that you find useful you can add your own note to the documentation and these uh, user-defined topics and notes are searchable using the full text search just like any other topic in the documentation would be and you can also mark individual topics as favorites, which makes it very easy to get back to them again. So now let's jump over to Alpha 5 itself and take a look at the documentation viewer in action. So here we are in Alpha 5 now, and you can see that we have the uh, web control panel open. And uh, there's a new button on the toolbar called documentation, which you can press to open up the uh, documentation viewer. The same button would also appear on the regular control panel as well. So open up the documentation and here's the documentation with the uh, uh, topic selector on the left hand side and the actual documentation for a particular topic in the right hand side. So as I click on individual topics now you can see that we're navigating through the topic list and if I want to see um, more of the actual help itself I can um, hide the selector and then reshow it at any point in time. Uh, once I have all of these topics open, I can just cycle through different open topics by just clicking on the tab. If there are more topics open than the tab strip allows, you can click this button over here, which opens up and shows you all of the um, topics. And then you can select a topic from here, or you can actually go and close down topics um, as well from the uh, tab strip selector. When you're viewing uh, individual topics, uh, the hyperlinks inside the topics uh, can be clicked and they in turn will open up uh, new topics uh, um, in the uh, documentation viewer window. And of course, finding topics uh, is very quick. So let's say I'd like to find a topic on the uh, UI help, a uh, UI message box command. So I type UI under bar and as I type you can see that's real-time filtering and here's UI message box function just click on that and then open up the help for the UI message box so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video